and now today we we'll look at another concept for schedules. So basically, what are schedules? So what are they? They are recurring transportation that follows a predefined location sequence for regular transportation. So we understand these schedules. Uh, you know, we have rail schedule, we have air schedules, we have uh, you know ocean schedules, even transportation. You know, metro schedules, uh, metro transport has schedule. The bus uh, buses will have schedules. You know, uh, you have uh, school. Uh, schools have their transportation, right? So they also follow some schedules, some routes or whatever it is, right? So said schedules are uh, certain things which are uh, probably predefined from location to location, predefined and in a sequence for regular transportation. Schedules can be maintained based on schedule type. So there is something called schedule type. So this is your schedule type here. We will see that. Uh, a schedule type will control certain customizations and that we will see. And then uh, you could have a master data created for schedules, right? Obviously, schedule will have some data, isn't it? Somewhere you have to maintain some data, okay? Now, schedules can, uh, schedules can be maintained by the shipper company itself uh, to track as per the schedule, as, uh, to track the schedules or the schedules can be uh, maintained by uh, schedule, schedules can be provided by uh, the carrier, uh, you know, and then they can be uh, uploaded into the system, and then uh, you know, uh, external schedules can be taken and then they can be maintained. So that is also a possibility. Okay, standard stop sequence, uh, stages, cutoff time, and all. So okay, then we will see that. Departure details, rules can be maintained. So for example, suppose if you say, okay, uh, well, I mean, uh, uh, there are some trains, right? Suppose if you are going from say Bangalore to uh, some Rajdhani Express. So if you are taking a Rajdhani Express, uh, maybe, I don't know where it starts, maybe Chennai or so somewhere, uh, and it goes all the way to uh, Delhi, for example, right? So, um, this particular train is not there on all days, all seven days, it's not there, right? It's there probably on some Mondays or Tuesdays or Saturdays or whatever, once in three days or something like that. So similarly in schedules, you could give the departure details, the rules can be maintained, you know, on which day does it operate and all that kind of stuff. And then where all the different uh, locations or stages uh, where it stops and all that kind of stuff. So that can be given. So what we will do quickly, we'll see, we'll go into uh, transportation network. Can you see my screen? Yes, Satish. Yeah, okay. So uh, you can see here in the mass transportation management uh, network, then uh, define schedule types, right? So these, these are the schedule types. Uh, which uh, can be created and uh, you it would have a bit of configurations uh, maintained like uh, you know this is typically you know uh, an ocean carrier schedule for example and uh, you could set it as a default type or so as necessary and you could give a mode of transportation whatever is the mode of transportation for this schedule that can be given um, so obviously you will be maintaining as per the mode of transportation. Then you could say that, uh, you know, if this particular uh, schedule has any relevance with the gateway. So typically you have these uh, gateways, uh, you know, how you understand gateways are basically, uh, the best example is, uh, uh, you know, they are like, you know, uh, freight stations, you know, they are like uh, different shippers or, ship, uh, or uh, uh, you know, not shippers, I would say carriers, different carriers or uh, shipping lines, they call it as shipping lines, which are maintained by different uh, carriers or so, they will have their, uh, you know, uh, container freight stations, they can be called as gateways, right? So these uh, places are the place where uh, you get your uh, commodities, you know, you get your, um, uh, parcels, you get your, uh, you know, all your, uh, 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 it could be, suppose if it is a uh, uh, less than truckload, LTL is called as less than truckload, right? So that means 
uh, that container may consist of some 20, 20, uh, 10 or 20 uh, different, uh, you know, customers for whose uh, for whom the transportation is planned. So they could get they could get all those uh, items. Uh, different uh, shippers can get all those items uh, through their transport or whatever, and then get it to these freight stations, and uh, uh, and then probably they could uh, consolidate uh, things over there at the container or something. The L the LSP probably could do that at a gateway, right? So. Uh, Typically, these things could be done at a container freight station, and they will probably do a lot. They have some offices, uh, uh, you know, on paper processing, and then maybe they have some services of cleaning and uh, fumigation, or this or that, or th th those kind of stuff. So, from that standpoint, if it is relevant for gateway or not, is something which you could also control in the schedule. If it is relevant for uh, gateway. I mean, if it is like uh, not relevant for gateway, uh, uh, gateway, then uh, you know, uh, if it is relevant for gateway, then you could say whether it is uh, it is uh, direct in the sense like you know, you can have a uh, uh, what do you call? Uh, you can have a reference or you can have a, a no source gateway, no destination gateway. That means you could have a source gateway. This is uh, you are giving a source gateway. That means before the port. Before the Oakland port, there would be a gateway. That that is also a location. Port is a location. Gateway is also a location. Okay, so you can have a gateway, uh, you know, just before uh, the port. So port, you simply load into uh, into the vessel. That's it. So gateway is where you do certain processing or consolidation or this or that and all that kind of stuff. Okay. <laughs> So if it is uh, gateway and if it is uh, if it is direct, that means if it is like you know uh, completely uh, the carrier uh, carrier can directly process uh, uh, you know if the carrier can directly process it uh, by 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 their own, then you probably would want to say uh, uh, direct. Uh, there won't be any references, uh, and then uh, you could still say. That uh, you, you may say that there is no source gateway, there is no destination gateway. I mean, it is like uh, straight away going to the port. You know, uh, the carrier is taking straight away to the port. That's it. There's no, uh, you can say no source gateway, no destination gateway, not necessary. See the, you can straight go to the uh, port or something like that. So, those kind of things can be configured based on the customer's requirement. Okay, so this bit of information needs uh, a, a, a more clearer understanding of uh, how uh, a customer would want, uh, uh, you know, uh, want to maintain or about how business want to maintain the gateway aspects uh, from the scheduling perspective. Okay, that the, the bit of uh, background uh, information, but don't have to worry much about it. Uh, but you know, know that there, uh, there are uh, gateways just before the port itself, and they could be uh, separate locations created for the gateway, like the port. You create separate locations, and you could say you could say for this in this particular uh, schedule, there is a, uh, there is no source gateway or there is a source gateway, because it is possible in our in our transportation lane what we have created, right? I mean the the multi-mode transportation lane rather. Uh, in that, it is possible that uh, Port of Oakland, before going to the Port of Oakland, uh, you could uh, send your port of uh, send your commodities to a gateway, right? That means uh, you can send it to a gateway, and from there it sort of gets consolidated and all that stuff, and then goes to the port, right? If it is direct, if it is direct, then what happens? Then it straight away is going to the uh, port itself. You know, uh, you, you are uh, uh, you are saying that you are uh, taking your truck directly to the port. So those kind of scenarios might exist. So you just might have to understand those things. And then, what is the document type which you are using to process this particular schedule? Okay, you can assign a particular document type here. So the document type, uh, typically a freight booking document type, is what uh, because why freight booking? Uh, because this is an ocean uh, schedule, so you could uh, process a freight booking document type and certain other things 
you know allocation type okay we'll skip these things not necessary um allocation type typically is related to business allocations so we'll come to this allocation later on business shares and allocations and all that we'll come to it later so it is like a typical uh what do you say um capacity allocations right so we'll come to that later on and then you would have certain uh, okay uh, the scheduling will have some uh, number ranges voyage voyage numbers we will see that in the master data how these number ranges are coming and all that and then any changes you make to the schedule um, you know how do you want it to reflect because if you are making some changes to a particular schedule uh, then uh, how do you want those changes to be reflected is controlled by a uh change control strategy this is these are certain standard ones so uh, which are used how it uh, how it reflects how it updates the uh, you know other documents and those kind of stuff and this is related to if you want to delete a particular um, um, aspect i mean so a particular uh, you know a delete a schedule for example 